Hey guys, it's Rin, and we're gonna do a Supergirl reaction to last week's episode, episode 10. I'm sorry it's a week late, I've been pretty busy this past week. Um, I am actually going on a three week holiday next Tuesday I am flying. So I've been just trying to get everything ready before I have to go on my trip. Um, which is like the end of that trip is Klexicon, I cannot believe it's almost here, it's so soon and we've been talking about it for, for months and months and months and it's finally like almost here but yeah I'm gonna do the reaction to episode 10 obviously now and hopefully upload it tomorrow and then I'm gonna do episode 11 later on this week and get that up before I leave and also that means because I leave on a Tuesday here I won't get to watch the Valentine's Day episode I'm not gonna like I'm gonna I'm not gonna have time to do it before my flight on Tuesday night which I am so sad about it's gonna be such a huge great episode I think because of all the talk about how it's gonna be a Sanders centered episode that's gonna be amazing and I'm so sad I'm gonna miss it and I don't get to do a reaction to it and it'll probably be like another month before I can do it so I'm sorry about that guys but here we go uh anything else and I'm gonna sit on the correct side of the screen this time because I got it wrong in the past two reaction videos. Here we go. It's this side, right? I sit on this side. Wait, do I? Of course. What side do I sit on? Supergirl. Previously on Supergirl. Oh, that looks like the droid from Portal. Look at the little spinny thing. Maggie! Tiny detective. Why did he have time to cover them in garbage? What? They didn't make scream proof glass? Come on guys, rule number one. Okay. Alex! Is normal. Brain activity, it's, it's fine. Her hair just looks so it's soft. Yeah, we'll figure it out, don't worry. I don't worry about it. War criminals. <laughs> I don't worry about war criminals either. About time. The you fuck? The power makes me? Who are these people? Buddy. They're working together. They can hold her off for. Not give it about five seconds. Ten at least. She's way too polite. Oh, you and Beth. If I'm right, you gotta try vegan ice cream. That's disgusting. Yuck! If I win my place tonight. Of course she's vegan. No, I'm being nice. I need no. I need to get into this cell. I'm good. I'm no. Okay. I'm. Oh. <laughs> oh, They're making bets on car. That's so cute. How did this happen? Uh, and of course like Maggie's vegan. Gold and we've got this. I mean, you've already defeated her twice. What's the big deal? The deal is that she brings death and destruction. Yes, John. That's bad. I can take and Monel as a psychic. A non-romantic psychic, I can take it. How? The mind melt. Mind melt? That's mass effect shit. Like, if, if you do. Let her drown in her own sins. Oh, John, you'll be back. You'll be back for sure. You're too good, John. Oh, James, what do you think a metal suit's gonna do? This must be the episode where Kara just finds out. Ah, Manil's, Manil's suit is red glasses! So she can possess people now? Oh, Guardian. Why did that guy roll? Like, fully... Oh, I see. She's gonna reveal that it's James. James? Yep, that was coming. Oh god. What's she gonna say? It's a cool suit. Yours? I was. Gonna tell you. I told him to tell you last night. Oh, and I Alex knew as well. Weeks ago. You all knew? Um, I, I didn't. I, I thought James was a professionally handsome desk person. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> this is more me as guardian than I have ever felt as James Olsen. Go have your own show then. If you don't stop, I'll stop you. You're welcome to try. What? 
opened up a vein for you. Oh, she had to know that there was a chance saving you would reveal her as a white Martian. She did it anyway. I like that line. She, she opened she up a vein for you. Trying to help your kind. It's a good line. Like this. Forgiveness is something you give to yourself. This is really interesting. I totally know where Livewire is. Short answer, science. You want to go catch her and show Supergirl exactly what we can do? My man. You dicks! And got him for the win. What dicks? That is 100% not the right thing to do. We're not like, goodbye. if they fuck up. I'm bringing her back. If things get hairy, I'm going to pull you out. Oh, my family! You do something for me. John Carr and Alex. What do you need? Stay with me. <laughs> We're not leaving. We're here. His new daughters! I love this! Don't worry. Oh! I love this. This is more like season one, Super Girl. Dude, this is the Buffy episode. Catatonic. Run, Graham. They'll kill you if they find you here. Buffy goes catatonic. I'm going to die here. No, you're not. You're the good Sorry. white Martian. I want to... Tell me. To be your friend. I couldn't bring your people back to life, but I could make you feel less alone. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm here with you. I see you. You are my friend. Oh. I hope she sticks around like for much longer. She's a great addition. Like I love all that history and backstory we're getting of John and the Martians. Such a nasty woman. Intruder alert. Showtime. Nasty woman? Are you serious, Supergirl? You, you. <laughs> oh, Supergirl. You and Mr. Olsen are actually a pretty impressive team. Ah, oh, don't. So she's just out there, free. As a bird, why did you let her go? Babies! It means vegan ice cream at my place tonight. I never should have taken that bet. <laughs> Gross. Oh. <laughs> mm, good talk. a lot in that episode there was so much that went on in that episode. there was so much that went on in that episode and I liked I think most of it I think I really really liked the Megan and John Jones story I think that was really well done and about forgiveness and how that's about forgiving yourself more than anything um and getting rid of all of that hate and that that can't be John Jones' reason for living and that forgiving her doesn't mean that he doesn't have anything left. I really love that whole thing and yeah, the like, the whole story is, is really well done. Just because her kind were all killers, it doesn't mean she is. There's always an exception to the rule. So I really enjoyed that John, who has been hurt so much by these white Martians, um, was able to sort of see her for who she is as a good person, good Martian, whatever, you know. Um, I like that he was able to look past everything that happened to him and not hold it against her. And I think that was a really, uh, it was a really moving moment, I think, for both of them. And 
I think it definitely uh, definitely has relevance for our current state of the world. So I think it was really well done and really well handled. I'm still not I'm not sure how I feel about the Guardian storyline and Kara finding out. Like I fully expected this to be how Kara would handle the situation because she would never forgive herself ever if something happened to him and she like just let them continue doing what they're doing but it does bring up like these questions of people who who are police or firefighters or join the army like these people sacrifice their lives that's part of their career so it is it's a strange it's like what makes James any different than someone who like joins the army and fights um so it's like yeah I don't know if I can say he's completely making the wrong choice by doing this um oh yeah it's interesting but obviously like he's not I don't know, he's just, he was just like a photojournalist who turned into a fighter. That's the part I think that's, that I don't completely agree with because he doesn't have any of this training that comes with all of these other professions. He doesn't have the years of training. He just sort of put on a suit one day. Yeah, it is, it's an interesting one that I don't know if I can wrap my head around it uh, so soon, but I guess we will have to like there's a lot more story to be told so we'll see how it unfolds I'm okay I'm prepared to do that I don't think it's fair that Wynn is being roped into that storyline right along with James it feels a bit forced that he's getting made to choose between Kara and James um because Wynn was always like Kara's number one fan you know like they're best friends so it's it's strange that uh Win can so easily sort of turn his back on Kara like that. I don't know, I like, like, I like Mono. I think he's cute. I think he's a sweet character. Like, he has sort of, like, that Andy Dwyer from Parks and Rec vibe about him, which I think is adorable. Um, but, and I, like, I can't help but feel for the guy. Like, <laughs> it's not his fault he felt for Kara. But it's also in some ways unnecessary that every male has to be a love interest for Kara um, so it could have just been sort of a platonic thing this whole time but maybe they're sort of getting this out of the way so that they can move towards that sort of relationship yeah I'll see how it goes um, Sam was of course adorable as always uh, yeah I, I really enjoyed that episode actually I think all of the stories were done quite well see that's it guys um, hopefully I will do my reaction before I leave for my holiday and until next time, bye.